so many great quality of life features in this game. There's another one. Ooh, they're attacking. I like um, Another one is when you pick up a piece of loot, and if you have the max that you can carry of that loot, instead of it just disappearing and getting charged in the game, like Final Fantasy VII, it gets sent to your storage chest. Hold on, I'll read your chat in a second. In the middle of it. The thick of it. I've never played Elden Ring before. It's fun. It's amazingly fun. It is genuinely... Okay, when I say this, obviously there's subjectivity and like some people with different play styles. But I firmly mean when, when you consider... Like, it's almost... Okay, it's one of the best games ever made. Let me start with that. Like, ever made. Keyword. As in, when you consider all of the quality of life features. Like, it basically is a game that you feel like it has learned from every game that's come before. It has learned, obviously, from the Dark Souls game. Game, because it's made by the same people. Um, but it's also, like, learned from Breath of the Wild. It's learned from uh, Grand Theft Autos, and it like applies all of these various quality of life features so brilliantly, and a just a great package. But it is also infuriating. It's very tough. There's only there's like no difficulties, right? You don't, you can't put it on normal mode or easy mode. Uh, you've got. The 39 of the 25. Time to revise and edit down. I, if you want me to revise it, um, I'd be more than happy. Uh, you know, I graduated from UGA. One of my degrees involved sociology, so I had to write a lot of papers. Um, and I also was like a oh for a couple years like a um, peer reviewer for UGA. I've had papers submitted for competitions. Um, but yeah, if you want, you don't need. If you don't need me, that's cool too. Thirty-nine out of twenty-five, for crushing it. Um, that's the one on Microsoft, right? What a whole sequence. <laughs> that was chaotic, and I'm just over here riding around on my horsey. All right, we definitely have enough to level. Oh, sleeping giant. I need you to get stunned. Thank you. All right, word, no worries. Sounds good. I don't know, 40-ish minutes of playing on this. Just hands and sleeping giants. And my horse. Whoa, I just saw a shadow behind me. That was freaking cool. Genuinely hopped, like, ambushed me. I only saw it because of the shadow. That was so brilliant atmosphere from the game. Like, the world design. I wouldn't write my own essay. Yeah, well, I wasn't talking about writing it. I was just talking about looking at it for, like, pacing. My Just my two cents on, like, things like that. Pacing. Um, 
flow invaded. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. I got too close to something activated. Dude, this is sick. They're like a samurai. Ow. Oh, they just blood slashed me. I want to fight this dude with my sword. Sword and shield. Here we go. Oh, perfect counter. Oh, I took too long on my charge, though. Oh, dude. 169,000. Gotta be sharp. Unfortunately, when I multiple times I um, blocked him and then hit him with that perfect like counter parry thing, but it didn't stagger him. Not only did it not stagger him, he flat out seemingly was unfazed because he was able to dodge my subsequent ones. And this is where I feel okay running past all of them because I've essentially beat every mob in this area going up to that church. Oh, get out of here. Dude, the giant fighting the Ravens, sick. That's another, this game has that. I like how games, Monster Hunter, uh, Monster Hunters do it as well, but ooh, I haven't gone up here to the left. Whoa, there's a lot to do over there. Hold on. Um, But where they'll have in mobs fight each other organically but they'll all this game also has like roaming mobs they'll have like caravans you're out, out there in the wild and all of a sudden you'll see like two or three enemies together breath of the wild does that as well wait where's that church did i go past it oh there it is I might have eaten that a little too early. Not a great start from your boy. Dude, he is just... That was ruthless. Ooh, maybe it's even better if I do that. Oh, he's got my poise. Oh, I'm, I'm not. Oh, now he's sleepy time. Sleepy time. Oh, no, no. Don't. Oh. I think I played with my food a little bit. I think I played with my food a little bit. I think if I'm more uh, clinical and patient when I have him asleep, I can get a critical blow. I don't, it keeps him alive with like 20% HP and then he eventually gets a critical blow on me. 615. Oh, I need to get back. I need to watch some more episodes of that. I got caught up on uh, Hard Knocks with the New York Giants last night when I hopped off stream.
Yeah, y'all keep doing your thing. Dude, I have this guy beat in melee. If, but since I'm doing melee, hold on. Where are my runes? I honestly just try to dip and level up. Before something bad happens and I double die. Oh, it's too late on this one. Oh, no. Oh, I need something. Oh, at least I got it. Oh, whoo. I knew he was about to be like right on my booty. Dude, the way that I can hit through me is pretty whack. Oh, we got him sleepy time. Oh, I didn't get it again. Maybe you can do the critical thing I'm thinking of there. Oh, I, I tried to block, and I didn't have my shield out. Ah! All right, we get our runes, and we dip if we can. If we can't because the fight starts, next time we'll try to die far enough away from the spawn of the fight. You see what I'm saying? Uh, When you said stomach growling, wow, why, what do you mean? Do you, does it sound like it? I, it probably is. I am hungry. I only had a light breakfast. Ooh, I haven't gotten that loot yet. Excuse me, Raven. I haven't killed these little slugmas yet. Please don't tell me the raven's still following me. Yeah, given that it makes you get off your horse, I don't think I can escape this fight. No way he dude. I mean I guess he does have the katana. I have to remember to just do so in general I need to remember to do Mist of the Slumber. Not only because it makes like a little cloud like that, but it also imbues my sword with it for a bit, which is crucial in mind. Oh no, it doesn't let me get the counter off. I think the other error I made is starting this without fully changing my talismans. I changed one of them. The way that I'm doing this fight and making sure I'm doing the sword and shield only since he's a samurai, it reminds me of how in the game Ghost of Shishima, one of the like sub narratives, so to speak, I, not, mm, one of the motifs in that game's narrative is <clears throat> the concept of like, what is, you know, we talk about it in Snap a bit, the concept of like, is or any game, can like things be cheesy? Is it win any way necessary if you know what i mean and so in that game for example <coughs> they show early on that the japanese <coughs> in that game are trying to do it honorably they want to face you face up they're not no tricks or whatever like that and the mongols like early in this fight at least in this game's interpretation of it uh like early fight a uh, mongol throws sand or something like that or, or like or oil like oil tar into the face of the Japanese person. and it, But it, it, the main character in the game has that like, kind of almost like Eureka moment of, 
Yo, I saw the, the measures that they'll go to to win a fight. I've spent my whole life trying to do it the honorable way, but in order to save my country and my people, I might need to, um, I might need to also adapt that like thing. So, but with that, Ghost of Tsushima does not have a morality system though. Um, if you chose to fight all of your enemies straight up, like the samurai way, it doesn't change the narrative. It doesn't change your character's appearance, like Fable, where you'll grow horns or, you know, like get evil eyes. None of that changes. Um, oh, I guess I can also put Raze's strength on. So, anyway, not Ghost of Tsushima is such a brilliant game. It's really not a criticism that there's not a morality system or even like the changing of appearance based on what, you know. Um, but it would be a cool mechanic in any Ghost of Tsushima 2 or whatnot. The only thing is Sucker Punch doesn't really have a history of putting morality systems in games. Any, anywho, sorry I just went on that little tangent. This fight had me thinking of that since I'm like trying to do it the honorable way by like fighting them straight melee to melee. Um, so, anywho. The uh, Ghost of Tsushima is a brilliant game. I actually haven't beat it. I'm a classic one of those games I got like 60 something percent through and put it on the back burner. His animations are sick. They really are. The and like blood daggers fucking me up. Yeah, again, that not that Ghost of Tsushima should have that. The first one, that is. But now that they built the world and a lot of the lore and the mechanics and stuff, hopefully they can expand outward. Even if it's just slightly branching narrative. All right, I think this is it. Throw on the strength. Wait, no, no, no. This needs dexterity, actually. I don't think I have a gem for that. Just kidding. I want to beat him with the sword. I think I could probably beat him easier if I use these. Double dagger boy. But I kind of want to do the sword and the shield on him. A show me and one of my best friends loved growing up was uh, Deadliest Warrior. We loved the concept of them like putting a, like a fictional battle of who would win between like a Jaguar, one of the uh, Jaguar, Jag, Jaguar Warriors of the Aztec or, um, you know, a Samurai Warrior or like a Zulu Warrior versus a Viking. Always loved that concept. I'm gonna get into his wheelhouse early. No, no, no. You don't know. I'm about to do it. No, I'm not. Make him go sleep, sleep. Keep pushing the wrong button to do one of those finishing moves. Oh, he broke my stick. Oh, that could have been bad. I, I when I have him staggered, I have to punish him. That's like three or four times where I don't I just do a regular swipe instead of the ah, right into his gut. I had that. I had that. I had that. But is there something I eat too that can give me more juicy juice? What are chaos followers? Ooh, I could coat one of my arm and arm and armament armaments armaments armaments. Uh, is that a sus sus Adlin moment? We need a sus Adlin emote. Uh, accidentally clipped something. Uh, was there a death? Yes, there was. Some some would say. Many many might decree. Oh, I got a raven on my ass.
wait. I went past the shit. Here we go. Oh, I can't use it. I don't know how to use it. Oh no, the creeps are dead. Yeah, his animations are sick. I'm hoping I get a cool, like, uh, art of war from him afterwards. There we go. Here we go. Rivers of Blood. That's sick. Yo, this has been a productive stream. I've killed Rykard, uh, Commander Neil, this blood invader. Those are clutch. Now I can upgrade how much they heal me. Which honestly, given where my health bar is and my magic bar, I don't really need. Ooh, honestly, I can go back to this too, that distribution. Mm, no, nah, this has been comfortable. Yo, I don't know if Clipper's potentially out there lurking or whatever, but it, it was like two hours ago when he mentioned the re Remembrance. And I still haven't gone. I'm about to go do that immediately after checking behind this. Oh, you know what I never did? I, st I still haven't leveled up with my points. In fairness, I didn't expect to get caught into that fight. Um... And I haven't jumped from that ledge that you told me to. Oh, well, first of all, I genuinely didn't, didn't know you were here. Two, I didn't, I meant it more like, uh, it's, that's kind of like how, A, brilliant the game is and how deep and robust that you, you can just get sidetracked and sidetracked. Not even an ADHD thing, just the game. And then, of course, you throw in the ADHD and it's just like, I, it, anyways, it just dawned on me. I was like, wait. I was looking at this and I was like, oh shit, I was supposed to do that. Like, not supposed to, but I wanted to do that two hours ago. It's kind of more the commentary. Also, the fact that I forgot to level up. Uh, we're going to go more intelligence for show. I still have 55 racks. Tangent the game. Exactly. Well said. Uh,. Can I take them to any finger croon or just a specific finger croon? Like, can I take it to her or has it got to be the one in the base? An old helm that has seen many battles. Worn by Niall, the veteran general of Seoul. Niall was a lone survivor. No, he wasn't. I mean, I okay, let me, let me finish. He commanded spirits to defend his long past master. Yeah, well, there were three of them, so they can go to hell. This aging general could not die, nor did he have anywhere to fade away. So I can either get the Great Horn, which I'd never use as a weapon, or restores FP upon defeating enemies. I don't really need that either. So this seems like one of those that I wouldn't duplicate, because I don't really love. 
uh, Remembrance of Rykard, Lord of Blasphemy, hewn into the Erd Tree. The power of its namesake can be unlocked. Alternatively, uh, Rykard took the form of a giant serpent that he might devour, grow, and live eternally. I understand the road of blasphemy is long and perilous. One cannot walk its, uh, it unprepared to sin. Ooh, also would not use. Need 21 faith to really get the most of it. Remains of the countless heroes he has devoured writhe upon the surface of this blade. Now they share the same blood, bound together as family. Some HP is restored upon defeating an enemy. Taker's Flame. The flames steal HP from those they touch. Sorcery. I do fucks with sorcery. Releases. Oh, I can Ghost Rider? Dude, no brainer. No brainer. I can Ghost Rider? Dude, why does this one cost runes? Did the other one cost me runes? I feel like he's taxing your boy. You must find kindling. Only the oh, I see. Flame Never mind. The great forge of the giants on the highest peak in the Ooh, land. Ooh, okay, that's why. Can burn the earth tree. That's the A like story of us going into the mountaintops. Is required to reignite the flame. For the flame to burn the earth tree. Sacrifice is needed of one who envisions the flame and can lead you to the rune of death. Now go through the door. Okay, so that's what we're doing in the mountaintop. I haven't got to it yet, but you can see this giant cauldron. I think that's what she's referring to. Which I'm close. That's the church that I fought the dude at. Just got to kill some things. Go across this bridge. Boom. Is all my attributes or does it only do it when I pop that thing? A great rune. Its blessings. Its blessing raises all attributes. This great rune is known as the anchor ring found in the center of the Elden Ring. The first demigods were the Elden Lord Godfrey and his offspring, the Golden Lineage. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. So that's... Damn, so that whole Commander Nile fight, for example, I never pop one of these. I don't know if this is also one of those frowned upon things by the purists, but uh, yeah, that could have also made the fight easier. For some reason, I was thinking this was just like, <clears throat> this great rune was just like always equipped. It gives you the abilities of the greater rune. Gotcha, yeah. Ooh, whoa, hold on. <clears throat> the Weather Dagger. If I've taken the, well, I don't know what's happening in my voice. I feel like Tyrese Halliburton right now. <clears throat> um, If I've taken the like good good from this little great rune, why do, why is it still in my inventory? Oh, well. Um, What am I looking, weather dagger. Dagger, dagger received from Thea, deathbed companion. Uh, she wishes for it to be returned to its rightful owner. It was once a special weapon of gold and silver intertwined, but is now worn down and marred by a black gash. Did you need some? And this is where I struggle. Part of me wants to look it up. Like, can I give this to somebody else? What happens? Do I do I change the narrative of something? I'm giving it to him. We're blind. What have we here? How did you get your hands on that dagger? Don't worry about that. Are you sniffing it? Well, that hardly matters. That's what I'm saying. I agree. I know very well whose dagger it is. Why don't I return it to them for you? Good work bringing this to me. Him saying that gives Mega um, Cat's Paw from Game of Thrones. And obviously George R. R. Martin contributed on this game a bit. There's only one person you can give the stuff to. Okay, that's good to know. Ah, I see you've laid your hands on the other secret medallion. I'm glad to see my council has borne fruit, but the honor of the deed is yours alone. You've made more of yourself than Ensha has. Now, more importantly, both secret medallions are in your hands. 
I suppose you'd like to know then. What awaits you on the path ahead? Me too, my friend. Me too. I wait with bated breath. Oh man, I can't do that dialogue option again. Glad I was streaming that. No matter, it's all lay out your own. Oh, all right, hold on. I'll, I'll be back. I'm going to...